Um, to be honest, those were not big problems for me. Too similar to the original, well, that's what most sequels are too similar to the original, and I like a lot of sequels. Plus, this is the first time I had seen this, these films was this one, so I, that first experience when you see a movie, it triggers something for a lot of people. When you first see a film, that sort of that hidden enjoyment sort of stays with you. Very rarely does it go away. So it was the first time I had seen these events, and then, oh, shit. Um, my personal problems with the movie, once again, that scene with the basketball was bullshit. The, when Snake, when they're going home, and the cop that gets fired, and like, all the other guys he's with, Pam Greer, they just get engulfed in flames. It's like, they thought, oh shit. Yeah, we only need Snake and the daughter. Hmm, you know, President's daughter. Shit, we have too many people. We need a quick way to get rid of them. Okay, just fire that and then boom, they burst into flames real quick like. I'm like, wow, that was sort of out of the blue. So that, that was my second complaint. And the third, some of the effects, they, they don't hold up. But I do like the usage of the effects. I mean, they're not as bad as Sci-Fi Channel. Um, they're not great, but like I said, the original film doesn't have great effects either. And I like the ideas behind it, doing something different. And I, I mean, you know, I had fun with it. And I also love the ending to this movie. Um, uh, it's the ultimate fuck you. Like, in the first movie, that's a bit fuck you. But this is the ultimate fuck you that Snake Plissken. He fucks over the world. <laughs> okay, he gets the fucking thing. It's the ultimate comeuppance. It's, you know, the name's Snake. You know, the name's Plissken. Boom. And then the whole fucking world is no electricity. Because the whole thing is like, okay, you know, I could do this, or I could do America, and you know, the more things change, the more they stay the same. You know, and it's just the way it, the, it was shot, and the whole world, boom, the, the fake out that Snape Pliston tricked the motherfuckers who thought they were smarter than Snape, but Snape fucked them over, and you know, the last shot, Welcome to the Human Race. And that badass song by White Zombie, which the guy pisses me off as a director, but music-wise, I do love his songs. You know, the song called The One. I am the one. Run, baby, run, baby, run away. Run, baby, run, escape from L.A. There's another thing about the music, the, the theme that they did, the remix for the opening. I like it more than the original theme. I do love the original thing, but I like the remix that they used for this film. The rest of the score is passable. Not as good as... But that's kind of what I felt about the original. The, the other score is passable. The only ones I remember is the theme. And it's such a badass theme, it makes a great soundtrack. But in this one, I like the... And, you know, great scenes like, you know... He takes the cup, he's like, no one draws until this hits the ground. Those are, <laughs> draw. You know, I love that scene. And I just, I had fun. I'm sorry, people. I know you guys don't like it because it's campy or it's too humorous or it's too similar. Too, the similarity in Bobby, again, I seen this one first. And even now, it's like I get what they were going for, the fact that sequels are kind of talked as as a joke and th those guys have never done a sequel think about it there has to be a reason for it they go well you know what do I have fun with that what do I have fun with the idea of a sequel and they tried something different which you know they didn't do well at the box office but I, you still get good action sequences and um, a lot of money you know Bruce Campbell as the surgeon of New York which you can barely recognize but you know there's all the pa plastic surgery I like that idea that all these people are just fucking so addicted to the plastic surgery and looking good and all fucked up. I like that idea. Bruce Campbell in the small role did a good job. And I just had fun with it. I had fun with the whole thing. And 
you know. To be honest, if I had a pick, I like the score to this one more than the original because I like the theme more and I like the. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, I do like the ending more, although the ending in the original is great. Caruso, and it's great seeing Caruso as Nate Pliskin. And I know I'm rambling. People probably still don't understand why I love this movie, but I do love it. I don't think George Torface was a horrible bad guy. Um, Isaac Hayes wasn't a great actor either. Uh, I'm sorry, you can throw knives at me, but if I had a pick, I'd use Isaac Hayes. He's cool. You know, but George Torface didn't do a bad job in my opinion. And yeah, I mean, it's a fun movie. I had fun with it. It's 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 charming. So it's a charming, fun action movie with a lot of good humor in it, and entertaining. And that's what I wanted. If it was fucking, I don't know if it would work. I really don't. People would, oh come on, I'm not sure if it would work. Just yeah, people would be like, oh, it's the same fucking movie. They'd be like, oh, you know, don't do an escape movie. Well, there's this Kurt Russell just kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing that, but anyway, I'm going to end it here because I'm just rambling, but Escape from L.A., a very hated sequel that I don't hate at all. And I can watch it just as fine as the original. Maybe even a little bit more so. Blasphemy! To be honest, if someone put a gun to my head, I would probably pick the second one. I do love the first one, but I would pick the second one. Sue me. So, with that, I don't know how else to end it than on that note. So, thanks for watching, and take care.